Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, YouTubers. Another little build on the way here. Well, actually, I'm engaged at the moment in two builds. I've got the uh, little Zvedsta 1100 scale Sturm Tiger, which is basically a clip together kit. But we'll come to that in a moment. And the Airfix starter kit, the U-boat type. Uh, 7C, which I've already talked about in a short uh, short update. But, um, I mainly want to talk about this little beastie here, as the Scots would say, this wee beast. Um, it's a 1 100 scale, um, and for £3.50, I'm sure you can get it cheaper elsewhere. But uh, I like to support that shop. It's actually not a bad little kit. You can see some of the detail on there. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's a clip. It's a clip together kit. But what I'm what I'm doing, I'm actually gluing it. I'm I'm, I'm just treating it like another build, basically. Um, it's a kind of novelty and it's an experiment. I want to see how the oil paints work focused on a smaller, much smaller scale. Like, you know, as you can see, I've gone to the dark side to an armoured fighting vehicle. And uh, what way to start? And a strange one of this size. And what a brutal looking beast that was, that thing. I wouldn't have fancied that thing rumbling towards me, I can tell you that much. Um, probably not they probably weren't to save from the air though I digress um, so yeah basically you you just get two sprues for this it's got all the parts on it you could put it you could put this together in half an hour if you just use the clip method but as I say I'm going to glue it um, instructions quite clear that is basically it there's your instructions. You can see them there. And the start of the one you start with on the back. Which is what I've done so far. Um, no problems whatsoever, as you wouldn't really expect with this. Uh, what you do have to do though is file off where it's been attached to the sprues because they were actually quite prominent. So you've got to gently file off where it was attached to the sprue. The worst of it so far was actually on the tracks. Um, but you won't even see that when it's painted. So there's quite a lot to, to get off there. Actually, you can see the detail there in one of the, the wheel areas of the, the tank. I think another blurred YouTube video. No. But, uh, gives you some idea um, you know like I say three pound fifty this place is um actually interesting little shop it's it's basically a news agents in the indoor derby market in Derby and he also sells quite a vast array of kits you know ranging from airfix to Zvedsters, Tamiya and other makes there um, all varieties so, well worth a visit if you're in that part of the country. Um, so, yeah. I'll put this together. Primer up. This is just the first little uh, first little video I'm making on it. I, I wasn't going to actually bother making a video on this. I thought I'd just build it and then just have a little reveal. But I actually think it's quite an interesting little kit. I mean, this is ideal. War, you know, it's the sort of thing that war, war gamers would buy. You could use this for war games, but uh, you can also make a little diorama and model out of it. That's just up to you what you do with it, really. Uh, I'll certainly show you one of the other sprues. See, on that's that's a back detail of one of the tanks, of the tank, sorry, the exhausts, it's basically the exhaust area and the plating. Um, you know, for that size, three pounds. You're having a laugh. What's on the other one? <coughs> a 
good little fun kit to build on a cold wintry January Sunday like today. A few more bits there, look. I think that's some sort of fuel bower or something, I don't know. Or water, water bower maybe. Or maybe it's not that at all, I'll have to look it up. Um, we can see that. Like I say, the instructions, very, very simple. But they are pretty clear as there's few parts and it's a clip kit but I'm going to glue most of these together um, yeah quite nice artwork on the boxes as well it's obviously digital art quick it would help if I got it in the field of view um, you can see there and on the reverse oh by the way there's no painting instructions for this so you've got to go on other diagrams, other painting sheets, and that's the reverse of the box. A German heavy assault gun, Sturm Tiger. Sturm Tiger. Uh, <coughs> that's the dimensions of the model as well on there. So it's basically it's 6.3 centimeters long. And that doesn't say how wide it is, but it's just basically about five centimeters, four four point five centimeters wide. And uh, it's a change. It's basically basically this is just a, a little out of out of my comfort zone build, and I shall be building a few more pieces of armor as well. I've got some airfix kits to make, and without me droning on further, thanks for watching. Ah, no, there's one one more thing I'd like to say. Uh, one of our fellow modelers over in the US, Mr. Frankie Day, I'm sure a lot of you are, are familiar with his videos. Uh, had a bit of one of life's knocks uh, the other day. Um, had a bit, of, a bit of a rough patch at the moment, so if you can, pop over to uh, his channel and give him a bit of support. He'd really appreciate it. Um, there's some highly unpleasant people out there these days I'm afraid preying on the vulnerable and <clears throat> it's just not on anyway I don't want to finish off this video on a, a gloomy note but uh, so yeah builds for 2018 we've got a few little plastic toys to play with and uh, hopefully transform into more than a little plastic toy but perhaps that's not really for me to uh, decide anyway Thanks for watching guys, uh, happy modelling, hope it all goes well and uh, stay tuned, bye for now.